earphones. In theory, they're a great idea for riding. In practice, though, They can be incredibly frustrating and quite uncomfortable. Join me now as I try to design and make an improved custom set. To get a good starting point, it's important to understand what does work and what doesn't work. Here are three earphones that I've tried in the past. This pair was an excellent fit in my ears, but a terrible fit in the helmet. And if I lie on them in bed, they're excruciating. This pair is a pretty good fit in the helmet, but a terrible fit in my ears. So they fall out all the time and they hurt. These were pretty good all round, but now one side is broken and they do fall out from time to time. So based on that, my ideal pair should have the fit in my ear of these and should have the fit in the helmet of these. To begin with, I'll measure up and draw the best elements of each and then I'll create a unique custom design from that. One more consideration is that if I'm 3D printing these parts, I want to make them in a material that will be smooth and will not trap dirt. I don't want to paint them because I don't want that in contact with my skin all the time. And I want them to be in a safe material. To me that means that this time around selective laser sintering is out because of the rough surface. And I don't know about the safety of the resin used for stereolithography. That leaves fuse deposition modeling in ABS, which is a safe material but it won't be as strong and the resolution will be considerably coarser. Now that we have the important parts modeled up, we can start modifying and improving. Just picking up my printed parts. FDM is not the most dimensionally accurate method of 3D printing, so we're going to have to do a bit of finishing on the parts to make them fit better and to smooth the surface. It actually turns out these parts are almost half a millimeter smaller than in the CAD file. There's some extra bits here that we need to cut off. We need to clean up the edge to make it fit properly. There's some filaments that have slumped on the inside there that we need to clean out. That opening seems a little bit narrow for the cord. And there's supposed to be a hole in the top there that seems to have fused closed, so we need to drill that open. I'm just cleaning up the step along the edge. Just reopening the hole that fused closed. And that side will fit too. Good. This next part is a way to smooth the surface of the ABS and to fuse the layers together a bit better. If you want to know more about this, I'll put a link to a more detailed video in the description down below. They'll never quite look like injection molded parts, but they're definitely smooth now. I'm removing the new flashing around the edge. Now I can finally glue the finished earphones together. Both sides have been welded, now they just need to cure. So far it feels really comfortable. They're really comfortable to lie on. 
Now for the real test. I'm so excited about these. They've stayed put, they work well. I can't complain at all. I think this was a success. As always, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a lot more interesting videos. See you soon.